What's up guys? Big B here, back with a new project. Today is build day on the Orlando Hunter 30 second scale trophy truck. We have our electronics box. Time to get everything taken out, painted, put together, and see what the final product looks like. I'm pretty excited for this. Let's jump into it. All right guys, now before I start assembly, I actually wanted to get a few things painted on here. I wanna paint the roll cage and the inside dish of the rims. I'm mixing up a little bit of Wicked White. I'll be using that for the base coat on the rims and the cage. And then for the final color, I'll be using Wicked Blue. So let me get this in the brush and we'll start painting. All right, rims look good. Moving on to the cage. I'm doing a white base coat because the Wicked Blue is a really dark blue, and I don't think it would show up very well over the black cage. So I just wanted to get a good base coat so we can see that blue really pop. Look at that wheel. Nice. Wheels look good. Now let's see how the cage will look. Check it out, guys. That blue cage looks sick, dude. All right, I'm gonna finish up the rims, finish up the cage, we'll let it dry, and then we'll start the build. All right, got all the painting done on the roll cage, and I think that turned out amazing. Really loving the blue on that. That looks so sick. And then we put on the clear body. That looks so awesome, guys. Check out these wheels. So left the black bead lock around the outside edge and painted the blue on the inner spoke of the wheel. I think those turned out amazing as well. Time to move on to the build and I'll just start showing you guys the process along the way. All right, I got the dash and center console built and ready to go in the truck. Some pretty good little details with all of the gauge clusters and everything that's on those. I also got the radiator built, have nice metal grates and metal fan covers and everything that went on this. So really good detail again, went into that. So this stuff's ready to go in the truck. I'm gonna get it mounted and start on the next phase. Got the dash and center console mounted in the chassis with the radiator mounted on the back of the cage everything is looking really good it was the biggest pain in the butt just to get that stupid dash in there but it's in there so we're moving on next we got the metal paneling for the cage let's snip it out and bolt it up all right guys working on the roll cage panels Got this side done, that is looking awesome. These panels aren't that difficult to put in. The screws are really, really tiny, but uh, it's going in pretty well. I gotta tell you that dash and center console was really the hardest thing I had to do so far. <laughs> it was very difficult. I still have this side to do, so I'm gonna work on that now, but uh, it's starting to come to life a little bit, guys. These metal plates are definitely starting to add some weight to it as well and it's really looking good with the black and the blue cage. I can't wait to see it all done. I'm gonna get the other side done, then we'll move on to the next step. Got all the roll cage panels put on. 
It is looking awesome. It's starting to feel really nice and get some really good details in there. <laughs> yeah, baby, it's looking good. Next, we're gonna be working out of bag C and it looks like that is gonna start doing the front and rear suspension. Also start putting together the shocks. We have our turnbuckles, bearings, springs, all that good stuff there. So I'm gonna start getting these suspension components built. I'll show you guys each step as I get them put on and uh, keep it moving. All right, it's really coming along. I have some of the front suspension. We got upper and lower control arms mounted, and we also have our turnbuckle mounts put in on the front and rear. Also got the steering servo put in. So we are moving right along. Next up, I'm gonna be putting together the shocks for the front and rear. I'm gonna keep going, show you guys the next step. Got the front suspension. We got both shocks in the front. It's really nice. The, actually, the suspension is really smooth. The shocks work really well. We got internal springs on the front, exterior double spring on the rear shock. Got the steering linkage set up on both sides and ready. Next, we'll be adding in the spindles and carriers and the wheels in the front. And then starting on the rear suspension, I already have the rear shocks ready. So it's a double shock in the rear as well. And also got the rear linkage ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the spindles and carriers, finish up with the front, and then we'll start mounting the suspension in the rear. And uh, we'll be tying up this project really quick. All right, guys. Got the entire front end completed. We got the sway bar connected, dual shocks. Everything is set up, looks good. This truck is really coming to life. Got the steering servo, everything's mounted, front end is done. Next up is going to be the motor plate and the motor. I think for the initial break-in, I'm gonna be using the 3000 RPM motor just to see what the highest performance the truck will do. And then uh, once I start building the stadium track for it, if I need to slow it down a bit, then I can pop in the 500 turn. So we'll be popping this in next, get that motor mounted up, and then moving on to the rear suspension. And then we're looking good, guys. Not a lot left. That front end looks really nice. Very detailed. Everything works really, really good. I can't wait to get this thing running. I'm gonna keep it going. I've come into my first major fitment issue, and that's with the lower pan of the truck that the motor fits on. Also, the electronics and speaker box will be fitting on this module as well. However, on how the module is supposed to fit, only one of the five holes line up. This top one will line up, but none of these side ones will. Um, I don't know if anyone else has had fitment issues with this piece. That's a pretty big alignment issue to have all of those holes misdrilled. So I'm gonna have to see if I have a drill bit small enough to match up with the original hole size and see if I need to redrill this or redrill on the tabs here. I don't think that there's that much to work with on these tabs. So I might have to try redrill here. I don't know how this is gonna affect the outcome of the truck. Hopefully I can get it to fit correctly, but it's way off. I can't see any part of the tab mounting holes through this floor pan other than the center hole here. So I don't know, we'll see what happens and we'll go from there. Well, I've been setting up the electronics on this. I got the motor plugged into the ESC and got the power switch plugged in as well. I'm gonna plug in the steering servo and the battery, and I'm gonna power this thing on. We're gonna see, one, make sure everything works. I did mount the speaker for the sound effects on the floor pan there, and uh, got the battery all charged up. So let's see if this works before I get this mounting completed. And we'll go from there, all right. Transmitter is on, got lights on the ESC, that's good. 
got steering. Definitely gonna need to realign the steering post. Looks like we're offset to the right. And when I try to turn, it's actually kind of binding on that, but it does turn to the left. So that's an easy fix. That's just a readjustment. And let's see if this motor, see if the sound effects turn on. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Sound effects are working, motor spinning. Nice. All right, electronics are working. I need to do a steering adjustment and then get this floor pan mounted up. I gotta re-drill the holes on the pan itself to fit, but uh, should be a pretty easy fix. I'm gonna go ahead and get that buttoned up and then we'll start on the rear suspension. I got the floor pan mounted up. I was able to get four of the five screws in there, but you can see the gap compared to here. And there's no way. I was able to kind of squeeze this front, kind of squeeze it in to get it mounted. Um, but I just cannot get this corner here. I mean, it feels solid. It doesn't move or flex or anything. So I'm just gonna leave it as is for now um, and maybe come back to it. There isn't enough tab underneath here to drill or anything. So it just kind of is what it is. Uh, we'll see We'll see if it breaks or anything in the future. I got the electronics mounted in. We got the speaker over here, ESC on that side. Uh, the battery actually goes in the slot back here, but right now I'm just testing. And uh, and I also fixed the, the steering. So no more binding and uh, looks nice and straight, got it all adjusted. So we're looking good now, guys. I'm moving on to the rear suspension, rear axle, and uh, we'll get that mounted up here in just a few. All right, guys, I'm setting up the rear axle. Uh, one thing I do like about this kit is, even though we are using plastic housings and a lot of plastic parts in here, um, other than the metal panels on the roll cage, we do have all metal rear axle internals so we have a steel axle we got brass gearing and metal ball bearings all inside the rear axle so that's awesome at least we have like a good quality internals which is where it counts the most um, i'm wondering if they have metal upgrades or aluminum upgrades for the axle housings and stuff but it was nice to see those metal parts on the inside let me get these put together and we'll get them strapped in the truck. I am in the home stretch. We got the rear suspension in. This thing is so detailed in such a small package. It's unbelievable. It has been almost a nightmare putting this thing together, but it's finally done. It has taken me forever and that is why I did not record the actual build process. But that suspension is sick. I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up, get the wheels on, get all the accessories, the body, everything. And uh, and then we'll get this thing rolling, and see what it can do. There it is guys, all complete, up and running. Still have the clear body, but I'll worry about that later. That'll be another video. But look at the detail on that truck. That is sick, dude. Awesome suspension. It came out so good, man. I'm telling you guys right now, it was definitely worth it for the final result, but man, the process to get this was very testing, very testing of me. <laughs> I had to walk away multiple times, but uh, it was worth it. That looks awesome. I got the sound in there, so let's check out the sound. Nice. It's alive, baby. <laughs> check it out with the body off. Look at that. That blue roll cage came out so good. I'm so glad I decided to go with that color. 
Everything just looks so awesome. The fitment of everything other than that floor pan was perfect. Look at the suspension travel on that. That's sick. I'm definitely not interested in doing another one of these. However, I do have an idea for an awesome stadium style dirt track for this. So I think I'm gonna give it a shot on building it. And if it comes out as good as I'm hoping it will, then I'll probably be picking up a second truck so I can have two people racing at the same time on the stadium course. I think that would be really awesome. All right, so I just wanna give it a little test run see how it looks and uh, see how it runs and then uh, here coming up real soon I will be starting a build series for a custom stadium style dirt track for this and I think that'll be really cool so stay tuned for that and uh, let's start this beast up Well, it's alive. I don't have any jumps at the moment, but I'll definitely get some here real soon. Do a little drive video, some jumping. One thing that I did notice is the gas can in the back. There's no way to latch it down and you can't like glue it in or anything because you have to remove this and the tires to get the battery out in order to charge it. So maybe that's a that's a design flaw. Um, maybe I'll have to come up with like a, a third strap or something to kind of strap that in so it doesn't fall out. But other than that, uh, I really like it. It uh, was not fun to build by any means, but I can tell it's going to be really fun to use. And man, that blue roll cage just sets it off in the matching rims. I think that came out so good and looks so clean. And uh, I'm really glad I went with that. That looks awesome. So there it is, guys. The Orlando Hunter 32nd scale trophy truck. Adding it to the RC garage. Great addition. I can't wait to start on the stadium style racetrack. I think that's going to come out super sick. It doesn't even need to take up a lot of space because this isn't a super fast vehicle. And with its tiny size... We could definitely fit a lot of track in a small area. So I'm really excited for that. Stay tuned. Thanks for checking out the build, guys. Let me know what you think. And uh, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys on the next project.